Hey, this is Pete. Thanks for checking out my channel and this blues guitar tutorial. So this time around, I'm going to be talking about one of my all-time favorite guitarists, the great T-Bone Walker. He's one of the pioneers of blues guitar, especially the electric guitar single note style. As well, he's one of the fathers of rock guitar for so many players that he influenced, like B.B. King and Chuck Berry and so many that came after him. So on this particular tutorial, I'm going to play an example and I'm going to focus more on the tone and sound of T-Bone Walker. I'm going to do a follow-up tutorial as well on how do you actually play this example that I'm going to play right now, but that's coming up. Alright, so we'll get started with the example. talking T-Bone Walker guitar tone. Throughout his career he played Gibson hollow body electric guitars. I know he started off with an ES-150 and then moved to an ES-5 with three P90 pickups. At that same time he was using a Fender Tweed Pro amp and that's quite the combination. Later on in his career he moved to a Barney Kessel hollow body with PAF pickups. So in playing those hollow body guitars they would be really well suited for a jazzy clean tone and T-Bone Walker had that. He would mix elements of jazz in his blues style playing and he played clean. So in my example I'm playing this hollow body, it's a silver tone not a Gibson but uh, P13 pickups so it's single coils. And um, if I want to generate a, a T-Bone Walker style tone, all right, so what I'm doing there is I'm picking close to the bridge. Okay, so that mimics his sound, and I really do believe he was picking close to the bridge sometimes. And then, playing some chords, you'd hear him switching, right? Maybe... Alright, so mixing the place on position where I pick. This guitar is wired out of phase in the middle position, so the two pickups, one of the pickups uh, magnets are flipped around. So I get this other classic T-Bone Walker style sound. Okay, so that really also sounds like T-Bone Walker. So right there, there's two combinations. You can definitely go back to the... And then out of phase. Okay, so when I use out of phase though, I do boost up the bass a little bit. And maybe the mids as well. And cut down a bit on the treble. I definitely alter my tone control. I turn that fairly fairly low actually for out of phase um, in the uh, neck pickup for the that sound I'll keep the uh, tone control relatively high I back off on the volume for the neck pickup um, just to give it a little bit more of a mellower sound I really want to generate the tone using my right hand instead of just uh, relying on the guitar and the amp so many of you don't own a hollow body or are not interested in playing an arch top guitar, but you can still generate a good T-Bone Walker tone using a different guitar. Like this Fender Strat, for example. Just going to be playing on the neck pickup and rolling a little bit of the volume and tone off on the guitar. 
boosting up the bass using a clean tone on my amp and just a little bit of reverb. So if I pick back by the bridge again, I'm, I can generate a pretty interesting tone. <laughs> again gets that uh, twangy staccato tone so you can experiment with different guitars um, I'm sure the other Gibson in the Gibson range like an SG or a Les Paul 335 for sure will also generate a good sound you can experiment where you pick um, the rhythm sound a little bit closer to the neck and then of course to accentuate things or attack things closer to the bridge Something else to mention in terms of T-Bone Walker's attack and how that affected his guitar tone is that he used a lot of downstrokes. You can see it on the videos that exist and you can hear it in his sound. So that really adds to that staccato sound and uh, a twang sound. <laughs> switched back to uh, alternate picking when I do more of a, a run or a line that needs a bit more fluency. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on T-Bone Walker's guitar tone and his style in general. For my next tutorial I'm going to take the same example. I'm going to break it down note for note and uh, demonstrate what I was playing. All the while using the technique of generating T-Bone Walker's guitar tone. So if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like and remember that you can subscribe to my channel for more blues guitar lessons. We'll see you again really soon.